Welcome back to Let's Play The Knife of Dunwall, the DLC chapter for Dishonored. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm trying to complete Granny's, uh, recipe. Since it'll have been yesterday since you have heard it, Cruel Nancy, take the world from her greedy hands. Check. Lay it before the black-eyed groom. Cut sharp, cut deep, red drip, drop. Last and least, burn it in the hearth of a lawless man. Oh! There's, that was, there were those embers in Timpsha's bedroom. Watch a look at that. Oh, I have to cut myself deep. I think I've seen this painting once before, unlike the ones that are just the focus on the uh, Lord Regent. And I've just realized, this is totally the inside of Dunwall Tower. I've been here. Well, Corvo has been here. Or he will be here. No, 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 no. Corvo has been here. Corvo has been to Dunwall Tower a bunch of times. The only... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's going to go there. He has, just hasn't been there since the Lord Regent took over. Yet. That would be a very efficient blowjob table. Well, you could provide oral to an entire dinner party. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. So Gristol is the, uh, the one that, uh... The fuck am I trying to say? Gristol is the, 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 the big one in the middle, is where, uh, Dunwall is. Must be somewhere... Oh, there it is! It's actually labeled. Uh, they're in the south part. Over here. I used the mouse to make it more specific. Uh... I believe Corvo and Dowd are both supposed to be from Circonos. Ow! Burn the bloodied card, the hearth of a man who dreams of being lord of all. You know, Dowd, you could have taken the damn glove off first. I mean, you know, I know you guys are, you and Corvo don't think much of being hurt with all the elixirs lying around, but come on, this is a perfectly good pair of gloves. Oh, no, this isn't where I'm going. Oops, I didn't mean to power slide my way across the room. That's weird, I don't have a secondary ability equipped. With Dim's gone. <gasps> we need all the help you can. Yes, guys. Like that woman Delilah. Shut up. You want to bring that crazy woman back down on us? Don't even say her name. Piece of trash, if you ask me. That was weird.
Time to make sure these guys weren't soldiers. I think the idea is that these are some of Temsha's bodyguards who uh, are out of a job. Yes. Personally, in this setting, I think they would just assume that, uh... Since it had been a month since the order was given, that everyone who'd been working here since then clearly had the plague and could not be trusted. pointed at this bar. Oh shit, it's right here. And that's all the runes. Shit, now I can get this. Well, I might as well, since I have it. I mean, I can—I only need one to get the first level of this. And this is actually pretty useful. Power. Bend time. Press left trigger to slow the world around you for a limited time, or until you press until you press left trigger again to end the power. At level two, time is completely stopped. Enemies and security systems are unaware of you for the duration. Fuck me. Six. I think the first level is cheaper, though. That's probably what's up with that. Actually. I'm planning on going through that door back there, in case there's any hidden goodies on the way back. Oh, that's the smell of the stink being uh, funneled through the building. Wasn't there a blue one in here somewhere? I think that's a red one. Wait a minute. I'm not trying to remember. If I find one here, great. If I don't, I'll just use the sink. Uh, this is not where the bathroom is. Oh, and thank you, Granny. These little scavenger hunts are actually kind of fun. Problem solved. Cocaine. I don't feel right stomping around like that. Bonded Galvani Weave, a chemical treatment that can be applied to cloth or leather. You can use this to upgrade your armor. Folded Galvani Resin, a substance that increases flexibility and strength in vulcanized materials. You can use this to reduce the sound generated by your boots. Last one, Testament of Timsha's Mother. Oh yeah, I should stop in and see Roland. Okay, bailing on the plan to, uh, exit that way. Uh, 
This is just me being stubbornly uh, perfectionist. Oh, what the hell? It's always good to uh, remember to take your elixir, right kids? Water doesn't help you avoid the plague. Uh, I guess we can just do this. is in this building over here. Oh dear. Ashes. Someone tried to get through here. Or they push people in for fun, as demonstrated on that one loading screen. Look out. We got a prowler. <coughs> Interesting. Roland's gone. He was standing right there the first time I met him. Uh, still. I've already learned a lot of stuff about Delilah. She's some kind of witch, for starters. Oh, what the hell? You only live once. I'll just loop around the back again. I'm trying to think of what else they could poke fun at in the other game. From the main game, I mean. They've done a pretty good job of it so far. All the maids look the same. The, uh... You know, repeating dialogue from the guards. Whiskey and cigars. Hold down A, and uh, it's just like Corvo's.
getting your own squad after what happened last night. Maybe something about the city getting worse. What are you up to? Come on, relax. Come on, frame rate, you can do it. I'm gonna go back and get that hat. It was in that building. Not this one I'm pointing at, the one past it. Glad those subtitles agreed with me. If nothing else, it kind of feels like, uh. No, it's there. I should do something with it. Okay. A hat clearly belonging to the Hatter Gang. Looks like one of them got into the captain's room and took his key to the legal district. Uh. Got a couple of new mans out, but... Uh... Okay. One, nothing I can't handle. Two, nothing really important. It's not going in this direction. Oh, so you finally got that upgrade. It only took you 20 years of being in this business. That's Altalia. She's waiting where she said she'd be. I know Talia is not here. I was putting him in the dumpster. Hey. That's an especially unfortunate one. He's not going to be asleep for very long with all those flies touching him. I'm going to pretend that all those despawned bodies mean that the guards got there. And, uh... Rounded them up. You know what? Let's take him out of this shitty one and put him in the one without the flies. Just because I'm feeling in a good mood. You know what kind of feel? like three different visual effects showing whether or not you're ducking is uh, kind of unnecessary. You move your hand like that, that's the most visible one, there's a coin there. There's a little indicator in the corner, 
And the whole bottom edge of the screen darkens for some reason, like you're squinting. Oh wait, that was the wrong ability. That was awkward, but okay. Because of me! With information that leads to her discovery will be granted a substantial I wonder if he knows where she is, or if he just handed her off, and that was the extent of the assassin's involvement. No, I don't think he knows where she is, or he would have, uh... Anonymously suggested it to someone who cared. There should be someone patrolling over here. What's up, guys? You're not a rock. I just thought that guy was Dowd. Maybe there's never been a picture taken of Dowd. No, no, there was a portrait of him, I think. Which raises serious questions about Sokolov's activities. Oh, well, that's what that noise was, the door opening. I could stand right here and wait and see if it opens again, but... Yeah, and of course the thing is electrified, so there's no way you can get in there without dying. I bet it closes the instant the train is through, too, to discourage players from trying to do that. Well, I say players, but I mean stupid players. Yeah, that isn't going anywhere. What's up? I ruined your uncle. The barrister's enemies caught up to him. He's in custody as a plague victim. Here's the will as agreed. That'll do nicely. Perhaps better. But you were promised information. Mm. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter, an artist, beneath my family's class for certain. My uncle became infatuated, but he looked older and made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night we all went to Waverly Boyle's for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly, Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dowd. Oh, good. That's all I know. I hope you find what you're looking for. That reminds me. Achievement unlocked. Missing pieces. Meet with Talia Timpsch, the barrister's niece. And there was one I unlocked just for talking to the statue. Which I totally meant to check. Do, 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 do. Uh... Uh... 
Here we are. Stone Cold Heart. Speak with a statue of Delilah Copperspoon in, Timps in Timpsh's estate. I'll be leaving soon. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye. It was good doing business with you. Not a lot of the people who've hired me have been on the right side of the law or justice. Rather. It was nice doing the right thing for a change. Tim, she's ruined. A rotten cold ridge prison if they don't send him to the flooded district. It's poetic, I suppose. Maybe I was wrong about you, Dad. Are you ready to go? Yes. Let's go home. No one died. All right. Found all of the uh, bone charms, all of the runes. I found the outsider shrine, and I found almost all of the dollary dues. Special actions. Ra uh, completed gra com completed Granny's recipe. Raided all of Timsh's chests. Had Barrister Timsh arrested. Spoke with Delilah. And yes, I did just raise my hand to uh, make air quotes. Uh oh. The Surge. Delilah is a powerful witch who leads a coven that has moved into the ruins of Brigmore Manor. Hmm. You've returned to your hidden base in the flooded district to plan your next move. Jessalyn Colbin's hands were all that was holding this city together. With her dead, the city was a fast disintegrating web of guardsmen, overseers, nobles, weepers. Maybe this was the world the Outsider was trying to show me all along. For years, I had held together a shadowy band of ex-mercenaries, street kids, and refugees through discipline and a bit of black magic. On the fringes of a city that ate up innocence and weakness, maybe today was the end of that small world. I thought of Jessamine Colvin's hands shuddering as she lost her grip on life. Whatever doom was coming, I deserved it. My people didn't. New upgrades available. The blueprints you found unlock these upgrades. Improved armor. Boot stealth 1. Stun mine extra charge. Let me just check something, folks. Once again, I've forgotten to start the timer. Aw, oh, jeez. I'm running way over time. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Knife of Dunwall, the DLC chapter for Dishonored. Later!